Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I thought I would do a kitchen clean with me. I've done quite a few clean with and you seem to be enjoying them. Um, but I thought I would do a kitchen clean one. In particular, I'm gonna clean my horrendous oven and grill. We don't even use the grill that much other than to actually grill bread and stuff. Like toast bread, but it just seems to get in a state. So I thought I would show you that and I've got a few new products to try. So the first thing I've got is this, um, you've seen on my last uh, clean with me, I think. Oh no, it wasn't a creamy, sorry, it was my home bargain tool, or be an ball, is this Barkeeper's Friend Power Spray. So I thought I would try that one. It says it removes, um, it says removes tough old grease and grime. So hopefully that'll help. It does say you can use it in the um, kitchen. And it also says um, for heavy stains, leave on the surface for a minute before rinsing. So hopefully that'll be okay. Um, so we'll see that. And then the other thing that I got, uh, which was new, was this Minky Hob Scraper. So I picked this up and I've had this for a while, but I haven't used it yet. Um, and it just says, I do for tiles, ceramic, glass and hobs. Um, and it says easily removes burnt on food and dirt. So I'm hoping that those two will work a wonder for me. So I will show you what they're like before and then I'll show the process and then I will show you them after. Hope you enjoy the video, guys. So just starting with my gloves, and as you can see, I was excited because they were elbow grease. Um, but yeah, so just taking the all the like trays and racks out ready, so I've got a clean area to start cleaning. Then once I've done that, I've just started to spray the barkeeper's friend. I did spray quite a lot, um, and then I did leave it. I didn't think I did leave it for a minute, but uh, just sprayed it and then used the minky scraper. And I have to say, the scraper was really good, so it definitely did help get up the stains off, more, much more so than with just a, um, like, you know, the metal scourers, because in a minute I do use metal scourer as well, um, just to the comparison, but the Minky Hob Scraper is definitely recommended. Um, I think I got mine from Amazon, so I'll see if I can link it down below, but it just, the stains just came off like a dream and it just looked a million times better, so I would definitely recommend it. So as you can see, I'm getting right in there with the scour. The, the lid, not the lid, the um, the front was a bit annoying because it meant I couldn't get in so far. And I apologise for looking at my back. Um, but yeah, so the, as I said, the minky worked really well and definitely got a lot of the stains off. Oh, would you call me on my sins? You think that you're under my skin. So once I'd used the minky and the barkeeper's was friend, I just used some tissue to get the residue off and you can see like it's absolutely disgusting. So I will show you now on the camera, gross. Um, so that's everything that the minky got off um, as well as the spray. Um, so yeah, just, just rubbing that and then giving the inside a clean as well. Also, just a side note, you'll see on the front, the glass, there's two like white streaks down there. That is inside of the glass, which I did ages ago, when, well, when we first got the oven and I cleaned it, um, and I can't seem to get into the glass to get it out. So if anyone knows how to take apart a Bosch washing machine, um, washing machine, a Bosch um, oven, can you let me know? Because those stains really, really bug me. Then I just did exactly the same in the like combi oven. So sprayed the barkeeper's friend, got the uh, minky. This one wasn't so bad um, as the other oven because we only use this for microwave and like grilling, as I said. Um, but yes, yeah, so I did that. And then what I also did, which you'll see, which I did do on the oven as well, but it didn't record for some reason, was I just used the pink stuff spray to clean it and then also use some glass cleaner on the front of the oven door as well. Someone else is on.
Then once I've done the inside of the ovens, I then took the racks into the utility room to clean. And again, I just used the barkeeper's friend and I did use a wire scourer, like a metal scourer to get them off. Um, I find them such a pain to clean. Um, I don't know if anyone else can recommend how else to clean them or if there's anything that's easier to do than this because this is fine but it takes ages and obviously like getting in all the nooks and crannies but it does come up well so I was pleased. Um, so yeah, so I scrubbed all of those, so all of the racks and all of the side trays which hold the racks in place as well um, and as you'll see in a second you can definitely see the difference which I suppose is worth it when you want a nice clean oven. So then once I cleaned all the racks and trays, I then went on to cleaning the sink. So just use the barkeeper's friend again um, in the sink just to clean up any muck or anything that was there. And then I used um, the SIF spray because there was a mark on the side, like where you, where you can see it there in the corner. Um, so just use the SIF to get that mark off. I think it was somewhere maybe the racks had pushed against it or maybe even the wire wool type of thing, it wasn't why I will, but you know what I mean, like the metal scourer. Um, and then just use some Method Anti-Back to spray the sides as well before I dried the racks and put them back into the oven. And it's getting dark in this room, tell me what you want to do, baby let me love you. So then once I've done that, just putting the racks back into the oven um, and making sure they were all in the right place. And as you will see in a second, the after is quite amazing actually compared to the before. Um, so yeah, as I said, I can't recommend that barkeeper spray or the um, minky enough. So yeah, here you are. Here is the reveal. Look at the sparkle and the shine, apart from those two white streaks. But yeah, we'll ignore those for a minute. So yeah, as you can see, they just look a million times better. Then it was time to do my doors of my kitchen cupboard, so you know the drill for this one. So just using the Method multi-surface spray in a microfiber cloth, just to get rid of any dirt or it tends to be like fingerprints and where we're cooking or something. And then obviously we open a door handle, so just making sure I do that as well. We know that is my weekly job I do anyway. Also, just a disclaimer, I have got Jake's slippers on. Um, and my feet look huge, don't they? But yeah, I had Jake's slippers on today when I was cleaning, so that's why my feet are looking like that <laughs> and when i look at you smile i don't know how but it feels like i'm drunk on you it feels like i'm drunk on you it feels like i'm drunk on you then just going in with my glass cleaner and minky glass cloth to just wipe the fronts of the ovens again just get rid of any fingerprints or things like that Then another thing you know I do regularly is just cleaning my island. So this is a bit of a deeper clean. So I went in with the pink stuff first of all, just to get rid of any dust and any bits. Because obviously I've been using the island to store my stuff while I've been cleaning the ovens. Um, so there's a bit of like crumbs and stuff on there and marks. So went in with the pink stuff to get that off and then went in with my um, SIF micro crystal spray well, not spray like cream, um, to get rid of any marks and buff up the worktop. And then again, just going in with the Dettol anti-back, um, just as a final buff and polish. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody singing, oh, everybody singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you.
Then my final step for the kitchen is just to use my elbow grease spray and minky cloth to just buff the hob so it's nice, sparkly and shiny. So that is the kitchen all clean now. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you um, want to see me clean other things, um, let me know. Cleaning videos seem to do the best. So if you do like that, don't forget to leave me a comment down below or if there's any other videos you'd like to see. And if you want to stick around for more, then don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm over 600 now, it's been really pleased about, really exciting. Um, so yeah, please share my video and let me know what you think. And don't forget to follow my home Instagram as well. Um, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you. Bye. Together, everything we do, you got me going.